Good morning. It's Monday, October 2nd, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Finishing Well, and our scripture is Philippians chapter 1, where the Apostle Paul writes, I pray that your love will overflow more and more, and that you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. For I want you to understand what really matters, so that you may live pure and blameless lives until the day of Christ's return. May you always be filled with the fruit of your salvation, the righteous character produced in your life by Jesus Christ, for this will bring much glory and praise to God. Accomplishing anything worthwhile requires fidelity to what you're called to do. Soldiers, public officials, and even husbands and wives take a public, solemn oath to discharge their duties faithfully. There are stages to any undertaking, something like puzzle pieces fitting together. These include thinking, or learning what the task entails, planning, how the task will be accomplished, the skills, the people, the supplies that are needed, and pulling the trigger or acting on the plans made. This was Paul's prayer for the Philippian believers. He prayed for their knowledge of Jesus. He wanted them to know him, not just about him. He wanted them to open their lives fully to Jesus because Paul had experienced what he was telling them. When you're deeply immersed in fellowship with Christ, it changes your character, your inner being. You become, as he said in 2 Corinthians 5.17, a new creature. We become new because our old sinful nature cannot worship or serve God. It is this becoming new which drives us past the thinking and learning phase to acting on well thought out knowing and planning. These puzzle parts interlock in such a way to bring meaning to the investment of time and energy, and it's in the locking of such pieces of our lives that we find God's creation and power. Like the creator of a cosmic jigsaw puzzle meant for others to reassemble, God gives us the box, and he describes what the picture will look like once we've assembled it. In faith, we think, we pray, we imagine how the pieces might fit. In faith, we plan, laying pieces next to each other, keeping the finish line of God's kingdom in view. In faith, we act, placing piece after piece together, Witness here, worship there, generous giving to those in need, studying, fellowshipping, keeping Christ preeminent in all we do. This is a holy life dedicated to God. This was Paul's prayer for his beloved co-laborers at Philippi. He wanted for them what he'd known and lived, and for which he was imprisoned at Rome. Finishing well is the bottom line for puzzles, as it is for the Christian life. Paul considered his puzzle a race. He wanted to finish well, and that meant keeping faithful to Christ. The last piece of Paul's puzzle was to pass along the faith to the saints. I heard a story the other day about an automobile racing legend long before NASCAR. He was known for his team building the fastest cars. In every start, he would have the lead by a country mile. But in his career, he never won a single race. His cars were built to run like lightning. But like lightning, their powerful speed was short-lived. They were built for a sprint, not a marathon. For you today... Where are you in the race? Paul was in midlife when it all got turned upside down. He had to start over and run hard to catch up with God's plan for his life. Paul is the premier empirical evidence that it isn't if you started well, but rather if you finish well, that counts in heaven's ledger. Here's Paul's accounting, 2 Timothy 4, 7. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, and I have remained faithful. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.